Okay, so the first question asked me to talk about three of my favorite websites from this um, module. And I was surprised to find out that I actually didn't know about a lot of these websites. So I was actually really interested in um, looking over all of them and being able to use them. Unfortunately, most of them you did have to pay for. So it was kind of hard to decide whether or not I liked them just from looking at like the home screen. But um, one that I know I for sure liked was Discovery Education. Um, they had a great video that you could watch that showed you how the website worked without having to pay for anything. And I couldn't find the price on that one, but for how much that I liked it, I think it would for sure be worth the buy because you could sort by age and then you could click on subjects. And their main thing on that website is like educational videos. They're kind of um, short documentaries. And I'm going to be teaching kindergarten. And so kindergarten, kindergartners learn a lot visually. So I think that videos and books, for example, are a really great way for them to learn. There was also some games on there that they could play. Um, I also looked at Brain Pop, and Brain Pop was really expensive. It was $230 a year, but it was kind of the same. You could sort by grade, and then um, you could sort by topic. And that one was kind of cool because you could um, make your own movies and quizzes, and um, but there was also some that were already provided. So that was a really interactive website and it was really colorful. Um, I think that kindergarten students would like all of the animation that goes along with it. I also looked at four teachers and four teachers was a little bit different because this one had a lot of tutorials um, showing me as an educator how to teach certain ways. And there was a lot of different um, subjects on the side that I could choose from. Um, and there were notes and um, there were ideas that other teachers had. Um, that one was kind of more of a teacher community website, which I really liked. And then lastly, Kia, the website that we were supposed to use for our assignments, um, it was really user friendly. And um, I like that I put in everything that I wanted my students to know. And then the website did most of the work. It generated all of the games for me. And um, that helps a lot as a teacher because you're so busy, you don't have time to um, make a game for every single lesson that you have. But if I just throw in some terms in there and then I hit go, it kind of does the whole thing for me. And I like that a lot. I also, um, for kindergartners, reading is a little bit of a struggle for them at first anyway, in the very beginning of the year. So something that's really cool with that website is I can um, record my voice and then put it with all of the flashcards and the quizzes. For example, I had a color quiz um, with flashcards where it would be um, the front of the card would be red and the back would say the letters R-E-D. Then I could record myself saying R-E-D red. And um, that helps them associate letters with sounds. So I like that a lot. It was super easy. And that one was only $99 a year. And that one is definitely worth, worth the investment. I think I would buy that one um, for sure. And then it says, after searching the O-R-E, um, were you able to find any resources useful for your future at um, classroom? Um, the answer to that is yes, most definitely. Um, I just went to orecommons.org, but I like that one a lot because um, it was super easy to navigate and um, I, it had kind of templates for me to be able to build my own lessons and um, modules and um, I just kind of put my information into those. And it also had other people's lessons and tutorials listed on the website. And so it's just, just this really great teacher community. Um, so I think that was great. Uh, I'm actually really enjoyed this chapter because like I said earlier, I, I didn't have much knowledge of pretty much any of these resources. So yeah.